This morning at 1.30 a.m., the container ship Dolly, while exiting Baltimore Harbor, struck the Fan Francis Scott Key Bridge, which spans the mouth of the harbor, causing it to collapse. Initial reports were 20 people were missing. Uh, it now sounds like that number is down to six, with uh, two people being rescued shortly after the collapse. The ship apparently lost power, and they were able to radio in a mayday, which prompted authorities to close traffic to the bridge with about two minutes to spare prior to the collapse. That action likely saved countless, countless lives uh, from the unsuspecting public who was traveling that night. Uh, so what do we know? So the ship, uh, Dali, uh, was outbound for Colombo, Sri Lanka. Uh, it serves MSC's Empire Service, though the ship itself is owned by uh, Greek ship owners uh, Ocean Bulk and is on time charter to Maersk, who provide ships on MSC service as part of the 2M Alliance. So yeah, the container ship Dali is rated at 9600 TEU and was built by Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea in 2015. So it is a fairly new vessel. The uh, managers of Dali, which is flagged in Singapore, uh, released some information about the ship. They indicated that there were two uh, harbor pilots on board and that the ship was carrying 4,679 TEU. Um, the crew were 22 uh, in total, all Indian. The immediate impact of the bridge collapse is that the port of Baltimore is now cut off and ships outside the port cannot enter and ships within the port uh, cannot exit. Uh, currently, there are several bulk carriers as well as a car carrier trapped within the port and there are dozens of ships at anchor outside. Port of Baltimore is the main import export point for automobiles in the US on the Atlantic coast. Last year it moved over 800,000 vehicles. The uh, Port of Baltimore uh, sees substantial container traffic to the tune of uh, about 21,000 TEU per week. Uh, that equates to about 1.1 million TEU per year. Uh, so a significant volume of containers has to be rerouted. So for the next little bit, that traffic is going to have to find another uh, route into and out of the US. As well, Baltimore is home to a uh, gold bond and gypsum factory, which sources its uh, gypsum from uh, Nova Scotia and is exported through the uh, Halifax Harbor. Baltimore is also home to a uh, large coal export facility as well as uh, subsea cable base. Um, many cable ships are based out of Baltimore who service the transatlantic cables. Uh, all of that traffic is going to be interrupted for a minimum several weeks until the remains of the bridge can be uh, removed from the channel, you know, possibly longer. So the obvious question is what happened and can this be prevented? And unfortunately, we had a warning that this was possible in Tampa, Florida. In 1980, the uh, Sunshine Skyway Bridge uh, was struck by a, a freighter entering the port of Tampa in fog. It, that freighter collided with one of the piers and caused one of the two spans of the bridge to collapse into the channel. That pier was unprotected against the possibility of ship strikes and 30 some people were killed in that collapse, uh, including passengers on a Greyhound bus. The Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore was built in 1977 and is of a similar construction type. Uh, it's notable uh, that the piers of the bridge appear to have very limited protection against ship strikes. Uh, many bridges will have large gravel riprap uh, protection around the pier so that if a ship is going to strike it, it's going to strike that gravel uh, probably underwater and be deflected away from the actual bridge structure, uh, such as the bridges in Halifax have that. Uh, but that wasn't the case in Baltimore, so the ship was able to make contact uh, with one of the piers causing it to collapse, which led to the entire failure of the bridge structure. The other practice that is very uh, common in Halifax, uh, because it's required by regulations, is all vessels over a certain size are required to take at least one tugboat uh, on the stern while transiting the narrows. Uh, the larger vessels would be required to take multiple tugboats 
um, at 9,000 TEU or 9,600 TEU. Uh, the Dali was probably a little bit too large to make it into the uh, Bedford Basin, but certainly all the other container ships transiting the Narrows would take a stern tug. Uh, the value of this was proved in November 2013 when the outbound OOCL Oakland uh, lost power in the Narrows and was brought safely to a stop by the uh, stern tug. Uh, if the Port of Baltimore required tugs to escort vessels beyond the bridge, uh, it's likely that there would have been uh, additional uh, margin for safety in the event something like this happens. So with the ship losing power, obviously there's why did the ship lose power? Um, that's going to be a problem and a concern that we want to address uh, and find out what happened there. But also we need to know if the actions of the crew in any way uh, made the situation worse. Certainly the ship was in the channel when it lost power and then drifted out. Uh, was that just the result of hydrodynamic, hydrodynamic forces on the hull or did the crew take action that exacerbated the situation? Uh, from aerial photos, it looks like the port anchor was dropped and dragged uh, prior to the collision with the bridge. Um, you can also in the video see a lot of black smoke coming out of the ship once power is restored and the question is was the ship going into hard astern or reversing to try and stop and what effect did that have on causing the bow to swing in the channel and possibly strike the bridge um, we don't know that's something that the investigation is going to have to come out with um, but yeah hopefully uh, should tell us what went on with the crew uh, currently, the Port of Baltimore and the Port of Halifax share uh, stops on uh, Atlantic can Container Lines uh, weekly service. Uh, an ACL vessel was able to get out last night uh, prior to the bridge collapse, uh, and the one that was in port today in Halifax discharged another 380 containers bound for uh, Baltimore, which will make their way to their final destination uh, by rail. This is going to be an ongoing uh, situation. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Uh, if you think I got it right, leave a comment below. If you think I'm wrong, also leave a comment and tell me where I'm wrong and uh, maybe we can address it in a future video.